Hello everyone, Slip is Null here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your Minecraft Corrupted Worlds for 2019, or uh, the version that I'm going to be using today is 1.14.4. Um, this video was very, very highly requested from my 2015 um, version of this same video. That version's a bit outdated, and hopefully a lot of problems will be fixed by making this video. Um, if this video does end up helping you or it fixes your world, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, leaving a comment, uh, maybe helping some other people out if they're having some confusion on how to fix their respective worlds. Um, and also consider watching some of the other content I make. I don't only make tutorial videos on this channel, I make tech videos, and sometimes I even make gaming videos that I think you guys might enjoy. Anyway, let's actually get down to the point of this video. So you're probably wondering why I'm spawned in a house here. This is going to be the world that I'm going to be uncorrupting, I suppose. Uh, obviously the world isn't corrupted, I'm going to be corrupting it manually, and that might sound like I'm sort of staging this, but I have tried this with other corrupted worlds. As a matter of fact, the actual procedure for fixing the worlds has almost not changed since the 2015 version of this. Uh, but I'm making an update video anyway, because people feel comfortable with that. Anyway, I made this house to kind of showcase a couple of things. Uh, that is, will you keep your inventory and armor and shield? Uh, will anything in furnaces stay there once you uncorrupt your world? Chests, ender chests, shulker boxes, and also will entities stay in the same place when you uncorrupt your world? Because normally... When you normally uh, uncorrupt your world, you lose all of your items in your inventory and in chests, pretty much in any container. Uh, and also, your spawn point gets reset to the spawn point that was originally made when you first spawned into the world. Basically, the world spawn. So the way I'm going to test this is I'm going to be setting it tonight. I'm going to be sleeping in this bed. And then, I'm going to be killing myself just to show that you will respawn in the bed. I made sure keep inventory was on so all of my items didn't just fly everywhere, which is nice. Anyway, now I'm going to be corrupting this world, and I'm going to show you guys how to uncorrupt it and what you will keep, and uh, where you'll actually spawn. Alright everyone, so here I have Minecraft open. As you can see when I click on single player, nothing is actually inside of here. Um, so let's actually first find uh, where our Minecraft save worlds are located. You can do that by going over, if you're running Windows 10, click on Cortana, and type in run, then press enter. Uh, if you have Windows 7, click on your start menu, do pretty much the same thing. You guys probably know the gist. This little dialog box is going to pop up. You're just going to type in percent, appadata, percent, click OK, or press enter. Once you do that, this window is going to pop up. Uh, your window and the files inside of it are not going to look the same as mine, uh, but you're going to be looking for your .minecraft folder. It should be one of the first, if not the first folder uh, at the top when you click on name. So if you click on name, it'll actually reset the alphabetical order, but if you click on it, the period should be right at the top. So if you double click on .minecraft, and then once you're in here, double click on saves. As you can see, my world, which I named test, is in the saves folder, but it's not read by the game, meaning that this world is corrupted. Um, corrupted worlds can also be because when you actually load in, it straight up crashes your game or it fails to load completely like you're just stuck in the middle of nowhere or like uh, kind of floating it looks like the world hasn't generated around you so how can we fix this well it's actually pretty straightforward so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going back into minecraft we're going to be creating a new world just click create new world and as you can see a new world has been generated 
Now, if you did not see a new world generated, uh, you want to make sure that you're in the correct .minecraft folder. Yours might be in a different folder, but normally by default, if you didn't change anything, this is where it should be. All right, so we spawn into our new world. We're just going to kind of save and quit the title. And now we're pretty much going to focus on our files for a little bit. Before we even touch anything regarding our corrupted world, uh, we want to make sure that our corrupted world, even though it is corrupted, is backed up. Just in case if we screw anything up, we can refer back to that so you don't have, you don't lose all hope in possibly getting that world back. The way that I like to do it, make a folder. So right click, new folder, and just do corrupted world. And just do backup. Then we're going to right click on your corrupted world. Obviously yours is going to be named differently than mine, unless you happen to name yours test as well, which is kind of weird, but okay. Click copy. We're going to go into this folder and just click paste. All right. Now that our corrupted world is successfully backed up, we can pretty much do whatever the hell we want with it. So now we're going to be focusing on three technically four but really three files so if we double click on new world you should see three files here don't panic if you see four that's totally normal uh, let me just pull up what the fourth one is actually called okay so if you have a fourth folder so we should have level.dat level.dat underscore old and session.lock. You might have a fourth file called level.dat underscore MCR. It's totally okay if you don't, and it's totally okay if you do. Regardless of the fact, I believe that that file, I could be completely wrong, I believe that file um, gets generated when you change the version um, when you play on. So if you were on, you know, 1.13 and you upgrade to 1.14, but you want to use the same world, I believe that file gets generated as a backup. Okay, so now that we're in our new world, the one that we just generated, we're going to be hovering over and just kind of selecting these three files or four if you have four. You probably shouldn't have four if you just created a new world, but regardless, you should have three. You're going to click on copy, right click, click on copy, and we're going to hit this little back button, or you can click on the saves folder, I'm going to use the back button, it's a lot easier. And we're going to go into test, or your corrupted world, obviously yours is probably going to be named differently than mine. Now, you probably just copied three files, what happens if in your new, or in your corrupted world, you have four? So. I'm going to kind of simulate that. Um, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it level.dat underscore MCR. There we go. So let's say you have this fourth level.dat underscore MCR. All you're going to do for now is you're going to take that and you're going to move it to your desktop. Okay. Normally I would say delete it, but just in case, even put in with your corrupted world if you want. Just in case, uh, I would hang on to that just because maybe that might be your saving grace, okay? If you happen to uh, back up your world. Okay, so now we're here, we're down to our three files. Right click, paste, it's gonna ask you to replace the files in the destination, you're gonna click, of course, yes. And now those files have been replaced. So now we're gonna go back into Minecraft, single player, and wow, we have two worlds here. So, obviously, this new world was the one that we created. We can actually delete that one. We don't need it anymore unless you like the world that you generated, you can keep it. Um, and we have our new world. This should be our corrupted world, so let's go into it. The generation's gonna look weird. Okay, it always does. All right. Okay, this is looking a little bit weird. This doesn't look like the f world that we start in right at the beginning. And that's because when you actually load into your new world, it's going to spawn you in a completely random area. 
Uh, it's weird, but that's how it works. Uh, luckily, I happen to have my coordinates logged. So if I do slash TP, or actually I can't TP because I don't have cheats on. So let me turn cheats on. Slash TP negative 316, 63, Well, oh, look at that. We're here. And our corrupted world has been saved. Obviously, everything that was in your inventory is now gone. It looks like the entities did stay there, which is a good thing to see. Oh, that's actually a surprise. So it looks like everything that was in your furnace is fine. Even everything in your chest is fine. Obviously, ender chests are gone because of everything that's on your person. And it looks like shulker boxes are good as well. Anyway, guys, a lot of people uh, might be thinking that you got your corrupted world back or you got your you're basically loaded into your new world it looked like that but it's just because it teleports you into a random location in your corrupted world um obviously not everyone is going to have their coordinates log but if you do it's a really really big help uh, if you don't you're going to be flying around for a little bit it looks like i was around 300 blocks from where my build actually was and to kind of put into perspective the actual world spawn if i do slash game mode if my actual world spawn happened to be right over here this was where the world spawn was for when i actually first created this world so anyway guys that's pretty much it if you guys have any further questions uh, feel free to email me or put it in the comments below I will try to get to as many people as I possibly can because this is a more updated video uh, and because of that I will no longer be replying to any comments on my older videos okay so if that helped you please leave a like consider subscribing checking out some of the other content that I make I think you guys will really like it and uh, yeah that's pretty much it peace out guys